starting in 5 seconds i am happy that one and a half years after the first agriculture summit we are meeting again to review the status of implementation of policies necessary for the development of our agriculture sector we cannot deny the fact that there is a crisis in agriculture in many regions of the country in many parts of the country agriculture is being carried out in adverse conditions the problems may be attributable to a wide range of causes but the end result is that there are larger areas where farmers seem to be in acute distress it is also a fact that in many other parts agriculture is seeing a major transformation for the better and the farmers in these parts are reaping the benefits of technology irrigation etc our government has succeeded in arising the decline in public investment in the agricultural sector we have also increased the availability of credit at reasonable rates to farmers short term crop loans are now available at normal rate of interest for which we are providing subsidized refinance from governmental institutions however we need more thinking on the credit front while the financing system should do more for the credit needs of farmers we need to raise some questions it is necessary that we find answers to these questions in the near future last year i had sought suggestions on measures to improve the institutional framework for providing long term capital for investment in agriculture i am afraid that we have not made much progress in this regard i request you to apply your collective minds to this again to overcome the situation of agriculture distress a package has been put in place for some districts in maharashtra andhra pradesh karnataka and kerala an expert group has also been set up to look into the problems of agricultural indebtedness in its totality and suggest measures for providing relief to farmers across the country we are setting up the national refined areas authority to promote knowledge based interventions covering all aspects of agriculture in refined areas i hope this body would be able to enhance the efficiency of existing government programs and bridge the knowledge deficit in rainford agriculture while we have attempted to bring about a qualitative improvement in agricultural research and extension system i must admit that we need to do much more to improve the reach of effectiveness of rural extension services these services were an important part of the foundation of green revolution we need greater application of technology to improve farming of many crops particularly in dry land areas a renewed thrust has to be given to research in dry land farming with a focus on farming systems as a whole what is needed is a sustained effort spread over 
a few years so that small farmers can be pulled out of their marginal existence while advanced farmers are propelled to the global platform this is the real challenge for agriculture in the next decade we are committed to ensuring that our farmers have access to adequate and affordable credit many steps have been taken in this direction we have initiated programs and projects to provide adequate and affordable infrastructure in rural areas we are investing in irrigation and rural drinking water to meet the water needs of our farmers and rural households we are improving the functioning of agricultural markets so that the farmers can earn additional income we are committed to increasing the productivity of our farms through the infusion of knowledge modern science and technology our flagship program bharat nirman is aimed at addressing the rural infrastructure deficit bharat nirman along with the backward regions grant fund will improve rural infrastructure and provide greater irrigation i am confident that we will be able to ensure a perceptible increase in public and private investment in these two critical areas which will certainly have a positive impact on the conditions under which agriculture is practiced irrigation does require greater investment we are making all out efforts to achieve a quantum leap in investments in irrigation states to are trying their best i do believe that the time has come for us to adopt a fundamentally new perspective on rural development and agriculture this perspective must recognize the need for ending the rural urban divide in each of the deficits i have mentioned while a large number of people will continue to migrate from rural areas to urban areas and while urbanization will continue our rural economy must retain its people and ensure a remunerative livelihood for them a balanced development of urban and rural economies is vital for sustainable development and social and political stability another important challenge before us is to increase the real income of farmers as leaders of industry you should be more aware of this need than most you know very well that there is a strong correlation between agrarian prosperity and demand for manufactured goods and modern services across the country one aspect of such development will be improved returns to investment for farmers thus we cannot grudge the farming community we need to recognize that they need better returns for their efforts this may hurt the middle class to a small extent but it benefits the farmers we need a balanced approach where we provide for the food security of the poorest sections without compromising the returns of to farmers while the government will do whatever is necessary to keep prices under check and ensure moderate rates of inflation we cannot sacrifice the interest of the farming community our strategy 
for agricultural development must be based on improving the real incomes and the quality of life of the farming community so far our approach to rural development and agriculture has been incremental we have only tried to do more and do things better we have not sought a paradigm shift in agrarian policy and agrarian development i sincerely hope that in future we can strike out a fresh in agriculture seeking new pathways for rural prosperity stop